June 1st. Versus brings you the biggest event in the history of world extreme cage fighting. It's MMA pioneer and former UFC lightweight champ Jens Lilyville Pulver taking on WEC world featherweight champion Uriah, the California kid Faber. Jens Pulver likes the Bulls, and he's standing by with Leah Garcia. <laughs> oh, you have no idea. I just learned the anaconda grip. Whatever that might be. Working on the rear naked choke. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> okay, Jen, let's talk a little bit. First of all, they're calling it the fight on June 1st, the biggest featherweight fight in history. What do you expect from it? Well, you know what? It's going to be explosive. And one of the things that I love about this fight is this isn't one of those things where we're going to be talking trash and hating each other. We get along. You know, we, I think he's a great fighter. He's a great champion. But this is one of those positions where I want that belt. He's got that belt. He wants to defend that title. He's going to be at home at the Arco Arena. You know, he, he doesn't want to lose. So it's just going to come down to we're going to throw down. I mean, and we're going to explode. 145 pounders leading the way. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> no doubt. 145 pounds. A moment ago, I introduced you, Adriano Marias. What kind of respect do you have for these Cowboys? I got, you have no idea. I'm humbled just sitting here. The fact that they can get in there every day and get on that big old ball of dynamite like that and get in there and do that over and over and over, that's not something I'd ever mess with. You know what? No offense, Uriah, but I'll let you punch me and kick me all day long before I get on eight seconds of that right there. If you were speaking to people who had never watched you fight, what would you tell them would be the star things that you look for? For example, signature moves. Well, the signature move is this. Everybody understands the left hand. That's one of those things. For a little guy, I pop real hard. I got a lot of power. I can. I got a high knockout ratio. Um, at 145, I've got uh, nine fights, eight by knockout, one by submission. So I haven't lost at 145. I used to be the world champion at 155. One of the things they know about me is I'm going to bite down on my mouthpiece, and I'm going to throw down until the fight's over, one way or another. They're going to be on their feet. They're going to love the fight, and that's how I come every time. I'm fired up. You have a fan in the booth. J.W. Hart has a question for you. Let me hear it. I'd like to know if he predicts an overhand left or is he going to choke him? An overhand left, or are you going to choke him? Um, well, you know what? I would love to do another choke. I'm looking for a repeat on the submission. He's a great wrestler. I want to out-wrestle him. But at the same token, this thing's dynamite. If it finds its home, it's all she wrote. So I'm looking to do that, too. No disrespect to Uriah. He's a great champ. But if I get that opportunity, I'm looking for the knockout, absolutely. Good luck to you. June 1st, 9 o'clock Eastern time, right here on Versus. You can watch this great fight. Wonderful to meet you. Very nice to meet you. Thank you all very much.